about half the cost of dock maintenance is met by sand dredgers like the Harry Brown. Her skipper is Mervyn Hardwich. She's purpose-built ship as a sand dredger and she's a really good one. I mean, the fact that she just keeps going day in and day out proves it. Of course, she's getting old now. I mean, things are starting to go wrong now, but uh, after 27 years, they're entitled to. I remember all the boats that used to come in, the different boats. You, you felt as though it was living. And it was a good thing. It's better to have a dock working than a dock just laying doing nothing. Where you've got houses now right across from us. I mean, that was timber yards. So you can't go back, can you? you just got to make sure you get it right first time. The past is important. Everyone measures the present by what's gone before. Having real ships adds so much to the life of the harbour. Gives the tired executive peering out of his office window or his yuppie flat window something to relieve his stress with by seeing these things. The Harry Brown is a marvellous ship. She's very well liked by everyone who sees her, except possibly the motorists who get held up on their way to work in the morning as the bridge swings to let her out. A process that takes all of three minutes. When you're driving along, you get held up, you say, oh, bloody hell. <laughs> bridge again, etc. Yeah. I, I think they only know the name of the Harry Brown. We've been here so long, because if we get held up by the bridge, they say, that's your blinking ship again. And we've never been nowhere near there quite often, like, you know. It's, uh, I think the Brown is well known in Bristol. And I've always said it's always friendly. <laughs> Psychologically, it's very comforting to know that uh, the installations we are operating and maintaining are being used for their rightful purpose. I mean, I've witnessed the sort of rundown of the old commercial operation, and that was very sad in a way, but one felt that that was inevitable. Really, it's been delightful to sort of witness uh, a rebirth of the place, yet with some commercial backing to it. Most of them was coasters that came around here. You had the Scotch boats, the Dan boats, the strewn boats used to bring in temp timber, Bristol steam navigation, I mean, with the general cargo. Uh, then you had the wine boats, that was the sherries, etc. Yeah, no, they all had their, their regular runs, you could say, which day they were coming virtually and which day they were going on. It wasn't like it is now, you can come up there all on your lonesome. <laughs> we had uh, tugs with maybe three or four barges going both ways, and all the shipping going both ways, you had to really beyond the ball in those days. <laughs> 